we have just a manual rack system and we would the, the beds were stored in the rack locations and we had to move them with port lift and there's always the possibility of damage the the wheels are sitting on a metal grate rack and it would cause damage to the wheels um, and it was you know not not just the best setup from a safety and from an efficiency standpoint having to pull beds out put them back um, not to mention the fact that um, with the solution we have now we have 45 beds in the same space that we would have only been able to get 20 so with the same square footage we've over doubled our capacity for beds which um, with a warehouse situation is huge we've always been looking for better solutions because we knew we were causing some damage to our beds um, be honest we did not realize this solution was out there um, so we were very pleased when we were approached about this concept because it is um, a much more efficient better solution for bed storage um, with the way we operate. The, the, the benefits with this system, number one, is the more storage with the same square footage. Um, also, the ease of operation, it's a much safer operation for the uh, staff um, in storing beds and retrieving beds to be delivered back to the hospital. Um, getting away from the forklift for storing beds was a huge um, advantage for us. For, for our staff, the system is, is really a back saver. It's just much more efficient, a lot more ease of, of use. Um, they can stand at the, at the equipment, push a button, the bed comes down, pull the bed out, and then go on to the next one. You're not having to get on and off forklifts. You're not having to manually shift beds um, off of a forklift. So that's the ease of use is, is huge for our guys. Well, we have very little storage like most hospitals. Um, you probably saw when we came in the storage area up at the top of the hill is what we call it. That was pretty much our storage area. So it ended up, we would fill that up with beds and then we would end up having beds out in our traffic lanes. Um, of course, there's regulatory requirements against all of that, so you're pulling beds in and out constantly. Um, we just didn't have a problem. It was very limited storage is what we had for beds. We ended up moving beds quite often because we would put them in one place and something would come up, we would need that space, so we'd have to move them to another area. And then um, if our census went down, we had a lot of extra beds, we did end up having to take them to the warehouse. Of course, that's transport back and forth across town to do that, and then when census goes up, you gotta pull them back out and bring them back over. Uh, which usually meant bringing in someone to look at the bed to make sure it was still in working order. Yeah. Uh, with being able to store 15 in their gated area, again, that's, that's helping us um, to be able to get into the room, get the bed we need, and bring it out. Whereas in the past, we had to bring out three or four beds just to get to one. Um, it's just a lot less labor um, having to handle the beds. It looks so much neater. I really like the way they look. It's just um, that that has improved a lot from what we did have. The beds are clean, they're put in there, and they stay there. Nobody's messing with them. So it's really helped them that in. I, I definitely would look into the bed lifts. Um, it's, it's saved us a lot of room, a lot of labor cost. Um, you know, in hospitals, usually environmental services ends up in the basement areas where there's not a lot of storage and a lot of room. Um, so it's really, you know, helped us tremendously and I would think for pretty much anyone it would be something to look into.